Hello everyone. How are you doing today? We will know about how to prepare for technical interviews. Lot of students manage to clear the written test, but they fail in the interviews, particularly in the technical interviews. Let us see a few reasons why students fail in the technical interviews. Majorly, there are three reasons why students fail in the interviews. First is lack of technical knowledge and awareness. In this category, the students have not acquired the knowledge that is required to get this job. This also means there is lack of preparation. Second is lack of confidence. In this category, the students have knowledge, but they have fear of interview. This could also be the issues related to body language. Third is lack of communication skills. Generally, the interviews are conducted in English. Though the students have technical knowledge, they do not know how to express themselves in English. Now, how can we prepare for the technical interview? Let us understand what are the expectations from the technical panelist. They would want to know if the candidates have clarity on fundamentals, practical application of knowledge acquired, what is the exposure, where they have applied this knowledge. Now, how will they check these things? Technical panelists will first go through your resume and look for the information that is related to the above aspects. So, where is this information? In your resume, where you mentioned projects done, internship done, certifications done, programming languages learned. One of the most important and fundamental questions in the technical interview is explain the project. Now this is an opportunity to showcase all the aspects panelists are looking for. That is fundamentals, practical application, exposure and experience. If anyone answers this question appropriately the panelists will have a very good impression and the decision to hire would largely be impacted. If anyone does internship and can explain the application of work in the internship, panelists will be very impressed. They might ask a few specific questions related to how certain logic works and approaching the logic, one should be prepared to answer those kinds of questions. Any student who does internship, applies the concepts in internship and can explain it properly, it is almost certain that the candidate is hired. The remaining two aspects are certifications and programming languages learned. The panelist would want to understand the students grip on the subject and can ask questions on topics involved. So whatever information one puts in the resume, they have to be very careful and thorough and should be able to answer questions related to those aspects. Lot of questions make this mistake of putting too many things in the resume without having proper knowledge on these subjects. It will not do good for the students if they keep those things in the resume and cannot answer those questions. It will definitely go against them. From this, it is evident that if the student acquires knowledge and knows how to apply it in practice and gain some practical experience then they are very likely to be hired. Final aspect of preparation for the interview is practice. 
as we spoke in the beginning lot of students fail in the interview not because of lack of knowledge but because of not having the ability to express what they know to overcome this challenge one needs to practice speaking as to how they will speak in the interview lot of students start the preparation for the interview only after the written test results are announced and they are about to attend the interview ensure that your preparation for the interview starts right when you start the preparation for the written test itself this will give you enough time to improve your efficiency if you follow the inputs given in this video we are sure that you will definitely get selected in the technical interview wish you all the best and thank you for watching our video